Hey, what's going on, everybody? I wanted to give a quick update on um, my... Uh, sorry, I was looking. I think FedEx is out at my front door. So I wanted to get a quick update on uh, my interview for the um, Redfin real estate agent, okay? So um, this was a pretty kind of uh, weird interview and it happened in two parts so it was it, it's, it's it's a phone interview at least the first interview is a phone interview one phone interview um and the interviewer asked the normal questions um basically they're asking you about your background they're going to ask you how many sales you've had pretty much in your career and they may ask how many sales you've had in the past um, year um although i think that's already a question on the application um, but they're definitely going to ask you how many sales you've had, you know, throughout your career as a realtor. Um, so be prepared to answer that. They do also ask you, you know, name a time where uh, you had to deliver some bad news and how did it go? So be, be prepared for something like that. But here's um, where I mean it was kind of weird. So um, the the day that the interview was supposed to happen, never happened. I was supposed to have it, I believe last Friday um, at 5 p.m. or 3.30 p.m. at 3.30 p.m. last Friday, never happened. I never got a phone call, um, no email or anything. So I was actually emailing the interviewer you know, I was sending emails asking, is everything okay? Because I had gotten a weird email um, prior to this interview. And the email was basically saying, hey, we've been trying to reach out to you. We chose someone else for the position. And I was like, huh? So I interviewed for the Redfin Now Acquisition Specialist. I interviewed for that. I applied for that interview for that. I also applied for the associate agent and sent in a video interview for that. I got a response on that as well. The Redfin now acquisition specialist, I'm still waiting on a response. So then I applied for the real estate agent. Had an interview for that, planned one, had one. Um, now looking back. But there was an there was an email I got stating that, hey, you know, we've been trying to reach out to you. We chose someone else for the real estate agent. And I was like, that was pretty weird. So this was prior to the interview I was supposed to have for the agent prior to last Friday. So I sent an email to my interviewer and I explained what happened. Never got a response. They didn't respond to me. They didn't say anything to me. I was like, hey, you know, I got a and I think I actually forwarded that email like hey i got this email stating that y'all were trying to reach out to me and you know i i said i you know I, I accepted the interview for you know this coming friday which was last friday never got a response friday comes along the interview doesn't happen so i'm like what is going on like they weren't trying to reach out to me like did i miss something like you know when something like this happens i immediately blame myself like damn i must have missed something i first thing I do is I blame myself. So then I start going through the motions and figuring out what happened. But I didn't get any text me messages, no phone calls, no emails. I didn't miss anything. So the, e the the interview doesn't happen. And I'm thinking like, man, some mistake must have gone down and they think I missed the interview or something. So I kept emailing the person who was supposed to interview me. Finally got a response. Uh, I guess the winter weather, They they this person works out of Texas and I guess the winter weather storm must have done something in Texas and must have knocked out some power and some communications lines and things like that um, so I was told you know that was the reason why they, they were having um, issues with uh, their just communications and internet and phones so that's why the interview didn't go down so it was rescheduled for this past Tuesday at 5 p.m. I said, okay, no problem. Um, so 5 p.m. Tuesday comes along. I get a phone call. The interview starts. The basic questions, what I told you, were asked. But the interviewer, I don't know, man. Um, this person just didn't seem th like, I don't know. They seemed preoccupied, like something else was going on. Um, I don't know if they had 
other stuff is sitting in front of them in their desk, possibly working. I think they were also working from home. So maybe there were kids there and other things going on at home. Um, but I can tell, like, you know, I was being interviewed. They were friendly, kind and all that professional. But I can tell that they were preoccupied. Uh, one part of the interview, the interviewer basically was like, can you hold on for a second? Uh, my dogs are barking. So they left from the phone, come back. I was like, oh, it was just my family showing up. That's why my dogs were barking. I'm like, okay. So we're we're at the tail end of the interview where I'm being explained about the benefits and the salary, right? Phone disconnects. Just boop, like we hit end of call. And I'm like, uh-oh, what happened? So I'm going up in my head like, you know, that I start, you know, um, in my head like that. Because sometimes when someone's just talking and rambling on and on and on like I'm doing right now, I'll go into like this trance. Like I'm not paying attention. I'm paying attention to someone else. I start to daydream a little bit. So I was wondering like, oh, Lord, were we over? And did I say, okay, bye and not even realize it? I was like, no, 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 no. I was listening. So I kept I called the number back. Um, went the voicemail, I emailed, I did this over and like a realtor should, right? I did this over and over again for the next few days. And I've joked with my wife, like, you know, told her what happened. My wife jokes me and she goes, uh, you know, cause she watches all these like thrillers and suspense. She's like, Oh, maybe somebody got, you know, somebody, something happened to him. And I said, nah, I, I don't want to think that or whatever. Like, you know, but they weren't responding to me. So I kept emailing, kept giving phone, kept, you know, calling. And then I was going to try because I'm a partner realtor for Redfin. So I was going to try to reach out to um, my uh, specialist that that I talk to when I have, you know, deals or what have you and uh, see if they can figure something out for me because it was just really weird. Um, A couple of days go by. um, Actually, so what's the day? Today is Friday. This was Tuesday. Wednesday goes by Thursday. I'm calling and emailing again. Finally get a response. And the interviewer goes, oh, you know, um, let's wrap it up today at four o'clock. No explanation. So I'm like, okay, four o'clock. <sighs> About 410 comes around. No phone call. I'm like, here we go again. What is going on? So I send the interviewer an email. I'm like, hey, what's happening? Um phone call comes through almost immediately so i was told that um well first of all i wasn't even the interview didn't tell me why we got disconnected that wasn't even explained to me but what was explained to me was the why they weren't getting back to me when i was calling and emailing because i was told that they thought i was someone that had pretty much completed the process and they had text messaged me um the next steps like they they thought that I was moving on to some other next step and I was like oh, okay but never was explained what happened to the call so that led me to believe that it was disconnected on purpose like in mid conversation um really really kind of strange and weird and it, it ain't settling with me too well um I, I don't I don't know it was, it, it was pretty weird But at the end of it all, like I said, the interview was nice, kind, um, professional. Um, I was told that. So to get the call back on Thursday to kind of wrap things up, I was told like, oh, well, we're not hiring right now. So my mind, I'm like, what? What's the purpose of these interviews? So I was like, are you going to hire in the future? Like, what? What's the purpose of having these interviews? And I was told like they are planning to add a few more positions in the market. Um, probably within the next week to four weeks. Um, so I, you know, I'm going to be added to the list of, you know, once those positions become available, then I'll move on to the next probably final step in the interview process. So really weird to, co- to pretty much corroborate that. Um, I emailed the hiring manager for the red, the acquisition specialist. I already had that interview. Um, he did get back to me and I, you know, I asked him for an update. He, he took him about a day or so, but he got back to me. He said, Hey, you know, we're kind of in a holding pattern for a week or so right now. He said, so I just wanted to let you know. So you're just not sitting waiting around, but we are in a holding pattern, you know, it, and it is, you know, it's February, you know, the real estate market um, is not jamming off like it normally does. 
this is what happens pretty much every year in, in this area. I'm in the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area. So, yeah, it does cool down around this time. But <clears throat> it's also a time of year where this is when you, you want to start um, planning, um, you know, for the market to heat up because spring, summer, it, it does it it does jam off like it rocks off like it it I know for like Baltimore City, um, there are a lot of they start promoting their they have these trolley tours. It's just it's not a real trolley, but it's just like a like a bus that you drive around, go to open houses, and if you put a contract in on a house uh, within a certain amount of time after the tour they might give you $5,000. Like they'll pick from a lottery and give you $5,000 towards closing costs and down payment. And there's other programs, um, all of that, that it, but the, the city starts to like really start to advertise and ramp up, you know, say, hey, come do your programs, come do this, come do that, come get all this free money. Um, and these programs are actually there all year round. Um, but this is around this time of year, like probably next month, people will start seeing like that first tour. Um, they might not have had tours because of COVID, but they might start having them again this year. So this is normally around a time of year where within a month or so, um, you'll see you'll see things start to heat up. Um, also, you know, at the end of the year, um, oops, sorry about that. Um, at the end of the year, the calendar year, um, this is when um, a lot of uh, like some grants, they, they lose or uh, down payment assistance uh, programs their monies are empty and January 1 is when they refill their coffers. They don't, they normally don't do it with the fiscal year. They, it seems like it follows the calendar year. So again, you know, this is around the time of year people are probably getting their taxes back. A lot of first time home buyers use their taxes to help them buy. So this is around the time where things actually start to gear up, but it's also like a, the slowest part, you know, it's like a trough, but it's like the slowest part. And then it's going to start to, um, for more or less crescendo to a peak or what have you. Um, I don't know if I use that word right, but crescendo. Um, so I'm just sitting here um, kind of like waiting. I really want to get in with Redfin one way or another. Um, they're a big piece to my ultimate plan for world domination. So, um, but yeah, I definitely want to um, get in with them, um, work remotely, um, you know, anything else they say? I mean, she did say um, that, uh, you know, hey, are you going to be okay with basically working evenings and weekends? Because that's where most of the buyers and sellers are available. And I was like, sure, you know, I've been a realtor since 2007. So, you know, and I've been dual career. Um, you know, I had a Monday through Friday, I worked eight to four. And then I would go out after work uh, the weekends um, I remember one particular year I worked non-stop every day for probably I think it was for like five or six months straight like I didn't have a day off um, so I'm used to that so she does ask that so be prepared for those questions but yeah as a realtor you're going to be working the you know the peak hours are evenings and weekends so be prepared for that all right um, if you guys have any questions, you know, shoot me a comment. Um, hopefully I'll hear something soon. Um, I'm gonna start making videos, like talking about my goals for the year. Some things have changed, um, in the past month or two. I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm my, my situation is fluid and dynamic, I'm constantly changing some things around. I'm gonna talk about how to achieve my goals, how you all can achieve your goals. But in another sense, I know there's a lot of videos out there that covers these things. But I'm going to try to talk about it in a different light or a different fashion. And uh, then I'm going to have some daily updates like, hey, this is what I'm doing to achieve this goal. This is what I'm doing to achieve that goal. All right. Peace.